Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video we are going to carry on. Um, we've actually finished the design of it all now. So we've got the logo, the navigation, this featured image, sidebar, main content and this features box plus we've also got the footer in place. So what we're going to do now, we're going to create the additional pages. So the login page, password reset, um, members, all that sort of thing. So I'm going to minimize this. So the first thing we need to do, if we right click on the item here at the top, which will then give us a new item option, and we're going to choose a web form, and it'll be Visual C Sharp here, and then we can just give this a name, so I'm going to call this Login. Then make sure that the tick box here for Select Master Page is selected and click Add. And this one will give us the ability to add the master page.master, and then just click OK. So it's opened up the login page for us. Uh, so if I just go to design, so as you can see, here's our page. So you can now see we've got a content placeholder here for another featured image for this particular page. And we've also got the uh, content placeholder for the bottom as well. But what I'm going to do, uh, because at the moment, obviously, there's nothing in the page, I'm just going to take this featured content placeholder out and just have it have the same image on every page just for demonstration purposes. So you don't have to do this, but I'm going to. So I'm going to go to the default page. So I, want, I basically want this image on every single new page I create. So we need to take out the content placeholder. So I'm going to go to the source. And what I need, I need to copy this here. So this is the actual image. And then I'm going to remove this content placeholder. And then I'm going to go to the master page now. And then this is where... Uh, the content placeholder is for the featured image and I'm just going to paste in the image directly now so if I go to the default page and go to design there's no difference really now it's just the fact that this can't be edited so this is going to appear on every single page so if I go to the login page it's actually broken now uh, because if I click on this so this is it's still looking for the featured image content holder but it doesn't exist in the master page anymore so if I remove that save the page and now we're good to go so you can now see that that image is on the login page don't worry about this bit here it will look right in the web browser so we've created that page we need to create some uh, more pages now so again I'm gonna go up here I'm gonna click on new item uh, it's a web form and this page is going to be change password and again make sure the select master page is selected and select the master page so now if I go to design view, we've got the nice image at the top and we can just start adding our code in here. So we need to create some more pages. So add new item, web form, and then give it a name. So we want our users to be able to create an account, otherwise it's a bit pointless. So create account, click on add, add the master page, and we're done. So a couple more pages. So right click, add new item, web form. So what have we got so far? We've got login, create an account, change password. So we also want forgot password page as well. Uh, click on add and then click OK. And again, we've now got another page ready to be worked on. So if we just go back to the default page. So we're going to be adding the login uh, section up here above the products. So what we need to do, we need to go to this toolbox option over here. And if we click this pin symbol, it will actually pin it in, pos in position for us. So the section that we're interested in is the login section here. So as you can see, we've got a few things in here. Uh, we've got login views, we've got login names, uh, all very interesting stuff in here. Um, but the first thing we need to put onto the page is something called a login view. So the login view has two things. It has an anonymous template and it has a logged in template. So the anonymous template will show information to somebody who is not logged in. Now the logged in template, if you can have a guess, it actually shows things when people are logged in. So it's quite an easy thing to do. So if we go to the source view of the default page and we want to be adding the uh, login view control just above the H2 for products and just below the, the ID of sidebar. So we're going to drag this over and we've added that in. So this is the control and we're going to add some information in the middle of it. 
So the first thing we want to add, we want to add the anonymous template. So open up a bracket and as we start typing, it selects it for us. And we close that off. And that's the first set, that's the first step done. Now the second step is for the uh, logged in template. So again, open that one up. So we've now got anonymous template and logged in template. So what do we want in the anon anonymous template? We want a login form. Okay, so the username, password, and like login button. That's what we want. Okay, so if we look over here in the login section, we've got one called login. So if I grab this and pay and drop it in between the anonymous template, we've now got a login section. Okay, so if I go to the the design view, look, if you look there now, straight away we've got this nice login control uh, sitting there waiting for somebody to log in. Now that was pretty easy, if you ask me. Um, so you can see how flexible and easy it is to do all this. Uh, one thing we're going to do, if we just go back to this source and just come up the page, and just below the, the idea of sidebar, just above the login view, we're going to add a H2, and we're just going to call this login section. We can call it what you want. I'm going to save the page, go back to the design view, and we've now got like a dedicated section for our logging in. So this is the actual login control, and you'll notice when you click on it, you get this like arrow to the right hand side. So if I click that, we've got some things we can do. We can have an auto format, we can convert to template, or we could administer website. So for, th for this series, I'm just going to show you the, the quickest way to do it. So what you can do, if you do the convert to template, that will convert the actual control to HTML, uh, so you can actually change the look of it. But for speed, I'm just going to show you the auto format section. So you go to this and you get this new window open. Now, at the moment, it's on remove formatting. So the basic, it's just a basic text box, label, and a button. But if we click on these, we can actually change the way it looks. Um, so if we go down the list, I think probably the best one would probably be the classic one. I think it sort of blends in with the color of the site. And we click OK. And as you can see straight away, that's now been applied. So this is what the user is going to see when they're anonymous. So if you click on where it says login view one, that selects the login view control. And we've got again, we've got another little drop, another arrow here. So as it says here, views run anonymous. If we change that to logged in, you notice that it actually goes away. So we've got control now. What we can, the user will see when they log in. So I'm going to change it back to anonymous for just for now, and then I'm going to go into the source. So this is the actual login control, and in the login template, we're going to add in the following. So we're going to say, welcome back. So we now need a way of being able to uh, dynamically add that person's username into this section here. So there's a handy control for that, and it's called login name, and I'm just going to drop that next to it. So just format it so it's sitting next to it. Uh, what I'm going to do as well, actually, I'm going to put this in a P tag like that, and then just paste this one on the end. So as you can see now, we've got welcome back, and then it's got this uh, username control here. So when they're logged in, they're going to want to be able to do a couple of things. So one of those things will be probably change their password. So we'll link to the password. So change password, and we'll just put a nice little link in here for them so they can change the password. Um, well, they'll probably want to be able to log out, for example, as well. So we need to use a, another control for this, which is called a login status. So this is what it will determine whether or not they're logged in or logged out. So if I drop that here, and then I'm just going to put a page break here, just so the links are on top of each other. So we're doing quite well. We've added a couple of controls. We've added a little, a couple of links and a couple of page breaks. So if we just go to the design. So you've got login section. This is the actual login form. Uh, we'll centralize it and things like that. Uh, so this is the anonymous template. Now if I change it to the logged in template, you can actually see it all changes and it now says welcome back. And then it had the person's username. And then underneath, uh, this will say logged out. And it's got changed password. So we just need to add a couple of more things for the formatting side of it. If I just go to the design, the actual um, login view is too close to this products, so I'm just going to go to the source, and underneath here, I'm just going to add in two page breaks like this. Save that, 
um, back to the design and there you go that is looking quite nice so I'm now going to do a uh, preview in a web browser by clicking on the debug so as you can see here we've got our website up uh, like I said we'll, we'll move this into the middle so it sort of lines up properly but we've actually got a login section pretty much created so let's log into our website for the first time now we'll use the username we set up a couple of episodes ago so mine was Matt and I'm not going to tell you my password <laughs> So I put my password in and I'm going to click login and if you give it a second you can actually see I'm now logged in Chrome's asking me if I want to save the password and it now says welcome back Matt so it's pulled out my username dynamically it's now giving me the option to log out and it's also giving me the option to change the password so if I click on that it takes me to the change password page but we haven't built that yet so we can't add anything so we can't change the password just yet so I'm just going to move back a page and we've got the option to log out so if I click log out and you can now notice it brings us straight back to the default page and we're now presented with the login form so that's the first step completed and um, so what I'm going to do I'm going to leave the video here for now um, I'm going to create some more videos and get those uploaded as soon as I can I just want to thank you all for all the messages you send me all the support all the thumbs up and all the comments it's great uh, so as usual guys, thanks for watching, please leave any comments below and I'll see you in the next video.